it did hit me hard. It hit me harder than, probably harder than like as, as the first one did. And um, uh, because we, we kind of didn't really expect it, you know, and, um, and, you know, when you've had it so many times, it's like, how many times can you get this, you know, and, you know, still, still survive. So it, it's, it's, it's been tough. It's been tough. I, I tried to hide it for a, you know, a good week. And um, I, find my, I found myself, you know, being confused on, on really what to do. And, you know, my, my great relaxation is doing a game. And that's the only time I was comfortable was doing the game. Once the game was over, I was, my head started spinning. And, you know, I finally got on the road this couple of days ago. And um, I was sitting in a hotel room by myself. And I said, what am I doing? And, you know, I, I, got to, I should be getting back there getting getting tested to get this thing started. So, um, so I called Sean McGrail and, you know, he's very supportive with it and said, you know, get back here, you know, get back here right away. So I thank Nesson and the Red Sox for being as supportive if they've been through all I've been through. What do you say to people? Obviously people are going to be watching this. What do you say to people who've been wishing you well? Well, I, I love you all. I mean, you know, I mean, how, you know, I'm not comfortable in, in, in social situations, you know, but I, I'm very soft hearted when it comes to stuff like this, you know, when people reach out to you and tell you how much they love you and they, they're praying for you and, you know, and um, I've gotten an awful lot of that, you know, so it, uh, it really means a lot. To, it really means a lot to me, you know, it, 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 you'd be surprised how much it, it can make a difference. It keeps you upbeat, keeps your mind occupied. It keeps you, you know, saying, yeah, I'll beat this, you know, and, and we'll just we'll move on with life. You've been an inspiration for people through all of this. I know the first time around it was hard to come out, even the depression part of it. You went public with that and that helped a lot of people. How much does that mean to you knowing that you, your journey has yeah. helped others through theirs? You know, you, you know me, TC, is, I, I'm, not, I'm not a very, I'm kind of a private person, but yet I have a job that's not private. And if, if, if I can in some way talk about things like that to help, and it helps one person, then, then I've accomplished something. You know, I, I, you know how I am. I'm, I'm pretty quiet. I don't say very much. I, I do my job. And, but I, you know, I, I really feel like because of the position I'm in, and, and if people like you and they respect you and they listen to you, if you can somehow get to one person, get to one, then you've, you've helped somebody, you know, and that's what I've tried to do. I've tried to be upfront and as honest as I possibly can with my whole life. And, um, it, you know, there have been ups and downs, obviously. And um, I think throughout all of it, um, you know, the people have stood by me. And so I have every reason to, to stand by them if things are going tough for them. Do you still have the same fight? Yeah, I got the fight. I mean, I'm not going to quit. I never quit in my life. You know, I, 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 I was a low round draft pick. I made it to the big leagues. Uh, there was no quit there. I made an all-star team. I got an unex, unexperienced guy, got a broadcasting job. I almost quit there because I was horrible, but uh, I didn't. I kept going. I've been able to stay at it for 31 years. Uh, I've been through this now four or five times, and um, I'm not a quitter. You know, I'm not a quitter. I'm going to keep going as long as I can, and I got the best possible team at, at uh, Mass General. I got an cr incredible team of doctors that work with me, and I, I, I rely totally on their advice. So, you know, once we can get all this testing in this week and they can get a better idea of how they're going to approach this, We'll sit down together with my wife and and, uh, and the doctors, and we'll make a decision on how we're going to go about trying to cure this. And um, and I'm I'm fully confident that we're gonna. Um, I have to feel that way. The the other option is not very good. So you gotta you gotta feel that way. And I've got personal reasons I want to fight hard. I you know I I've, I've got grandchildren. I've got a family. I, you know I there's there's personal reasons. I'm not. I'm not ready to leave yet. You know, I, I want to be around for a while. So, um, yeah, it's it's uh, we'll get through it.